Um, our next speaker is Renee Mejia. Renee is the Newberg organizer of Nobody Leaves Mid-Hudson, a regional immigrant rights group. Renee? Hi. So as Donna said, uh, Nobody Leaves Mid-Hudson is an organization that currently, and you know, for the most part, will always fight to defend the rights of those who are typically abused. And you know, that's my reason for coming on tonight, because when we think of some, a, a community that usually gets targeted with you know, being paid lower wages or made to settle for certain amounts, we think of those who others would consider you know, ghost or someone that lives in the shadows here in our very own communities. And so you know, just making the correlation that every time that you know, we have someone who is considered undocumented settling for a lower wage, it impacts you know, everyone else who's also working there and everyone else in the community. And a lot of it does end up being, you know, the lack of education in the community. So, you know, we just heard Liana mention about, you know, educating people on their rights. And so many a times folks who are undocumented believe that they have no rights when it comes to working. You know, they are made to believe that it's a privilege that they can come and work in this factory because they're not gonna go and get a job anywhere else. And so, you know, understanding and working with that community to let them know that you know, this big corporation that's coming in that's going to be bringing jobs and more than likely will try and hire a lot of folks in that community don't necessarily have to be treated in that way. That they can be, you know, strong and united. They could be unionized as well and that they can work together to make sure that not only their wages are acceptable at, in, you know, way above the standard of living, but also everyone else's who's also, who also ends up being employed in said corporation. And we see it a lot here in Newburgh already with so many factories like along, uh, what would it be, Route 52 here in New Windsor hiring the majority of their staff, undocumented folks. And, you know, from conversations that we've had with them, they are too afraid to come and speak up. And these are just factories that are locally owned. So imagine, you know, being employed in a factory as big as Amazon, you know, knowing Jeff Bezos is the, you know, be all the richest man in the world you know, when will they be able to speak up? And so this is a conversation that needs to be had now, you know, with them before they even start, you know, recruiting when they start employing and, you know, making folks understand, you know, the rights that they have, but also, uh, you know, the, the things that they can demand and the things that they can ask for. Um, because in order for all of us to really, you know, I guess as they say, for us to, you know, be, equal we have to acknowledge and work together with everyone and not and you know be as divided or you know yeah be as divided as they will make us be and oftentimes i see this way too much in you know factories where they'll put someone in a position of manager and all of a sudden they feel like it's a thing of division where because one person is making a dollar more that all of a sudden they feel like they are way too powerful or all too entitled but in reality, that person is actually making a lot less than they should be making or what they actually should be entitled to. So making them understand that even if they do get hired, they can't divide them once they are inside. So there are many, you know, <laughs> avenues to educating folks as to what their rights are, you know, before being hired and even when they are hired. But also making sure that at least on our end, we can protect them as much as we can to any of the injustices that they may face like during the whole thing. Um, one thing that I was, you know, trying to read up on before this conversation was like the process of how they use E-Verify, sometimes even just like threatening folks with the, pro like the existence of E-Verify, you know, making them feel like, oh, now because you're in our system, I can fire you at any time, or I can do this for you, you know, let alone the connection that Amazon currently has, like working with ICE, just like the way that they treat their staff, like as we heard from Chris. And, you know, those are folks uh, who, you know, have like legal status in the country, but, you know, it could go even further for folks who don't. And so, you know, it, it's just a matter of protecting all Amazon employees, whether they're, you know, undocumented or not. But we really feel that it's a matter of not just educating, but also then advocating for and making sure that we are there standing up for their rights afterwards. Um, and that, that's really all I had. Uh, so I'll pass it back to Donna.